together, Joe and Harold here. Hope you guys are having a really good day. Harold and I have spent the morning talking about the brain and that's because we've just finished reading a book called Brain Tricks by Rose Stanley. And this book talks about all the amazing things that your brain can do, like remembering all the names of the people in your class. I bet if you had a class photo, you'd be able to identify every single person. Wonder if you could do that without even a photo, just sitting here thinking about your class. I wonder if you could remember the names of every single person. What do you reckon, Harold? You reckon you could do that? <laughs> you want to give it a go? All right, you go get the book and we'll see how we get on. 26, 27, 28, 29. We managed to think of all the names of the people in our class. Wonder how you got on. The book Trick Brain Tricks talks about the even more trickier tricks that the brain can do, like how the brain can help us to deal with pain. What is pain? How would you describe it, Harold? Pain is how much we hurt. Well, we all feel pain differently in different ways, which means we're probably all going to explain what pain is differently as well. The brain deals with pain that you feel in your body, as well as the pain you feel in your mind. Imagine this. Imagine you're carrying a plate of food to class for a shared lunch, but just as you get to the step, you trip and fall, banging your knee and dropping the food in front of everyone. You feel the physical pain in your knee, but you also feel the emotional pain, and this will be different for everyone, but it could be disappointment that you won't get to eat some of the food that you bought, embarrassment for creating a real mess that needs to be cleaned up and maybe angry that people could be laughing at you or sadness because you don't have anything to share now. Have a think. How would you feel and what would you do if this happened to you? So Harold, what do you reckon? <laughs> Got any good ideas? You would ignore it. Pick yourself up and walk away. Yeah, you could do that. Or maybe you distract yourself by thinking about something else. Well, if we push the pain down and we pretend it isn't there, or worse still, if we blame somebody else for something, things could get kind of messy. The truth is our emotions will probably keep bugging us. So, what's the message here? The message is, if there's something that's bothering you, or something that you've been thinking about a lot, then we need to get it sorted. We need to pay attention to our pain and find a way to get it sorted out. Remember, we've got the power to change the way that we think and react to different experiences. So a really great option could be to help your brain come up with a new pattern. So after dropping the plate of food and banging your knee, you probably need to pay attention to that pain and tell yourself, I'm really disappointed that I don't have anything to share now. It was a little embarrassing because now there's a huge big mess to clean up. So we've paid attention to the pain, now it's time for the new pattern. Let's use words like, I guess, dot dot dot, maybe, dot dot dot, I could, dot dot dot. So it might be something like this. I guess I could ask my friend to help me come and clean up the mess. Maybe I could ring home and tell my family what happened. There might be someone there who could bring something for me to share. I could talk to my teacher about what happened if I don't end up bringing anything for the shared lunch. There's usually heaps of food left over anyway. So there's lots of other things that can help when we're dealing with emotional pain. Deep breathing exercises there can help to calm the brain and body. Exercise, the brain often thinks much better after some fresh air and a run round. Talking to someone that we really trust, great idea. Having a good cry. Sometimes we need to do that. Telling a few jokes helps us to feel a little bit better. <laughs> You've got a joke to share with us. All right, what's your joke, Harold? It's a brain joke. Perfect. <laughs> We're talking about the brain. What did the doctor say to the person who had an elephant on their head? <laughs> what, Harold? Looks like you've got a lot on your mind. <laughs> Very funny. Right, time to practice what we've been learning about, creating new patterns in the brain. In the link, there's an activity for you to do. You can use the suggested scenarios or you can come up with some of your own.
<laughs> Hope you all have a great day, everyone. Chakite.